This video is sponsored by Autolite, manufacturers of high-quality spark plugs since 1935. Visit Autolite.com for more information. When I say a secondary ignition waveform, you probably think it's all about the coil. But in reality, a very large part of the waveform is about the spark plug and the resistance between the two electrodes. This is what's known as the burn line. The burn line on a secondary ignition waveform is the amount of time the spark is between the two electrodes. That spark can change and the waveform can change as different amounts of air and fuel pass between the two electrodes. If it's a very turbulent combustion cycle, well, you're gonna see spikes up and down. If the fuel and air are properly distributed, it should be a little bit smooth with a little bit of a jump up and down, but nothing huge. Also, if there is a lot of resistance inside of the gap, the burn line may be really long. If there's no resistance and these electrodes are very close together, well, it's going to be a very short burn line. It is very critical that you have a known good secondary ignition waveform for the vehicle. Some vehicles, the burn line is very long. Sometimes it's very short. If it's a wasted spark ignition, well, the two ignition cycles may look completely different. But by looking at the burn line, you could tell a lot about the spark plug. If it's worn out, if it needs to be replaced, even if it's damaged and the electrodes are pinched together. I'm Andrew Markell. Thank you very much.